I'm Mick and this is Sally. In our videos we hope to showcase what Australia has to offer. You can follow us on our adventures via the following social media platforms. If you like the video please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Part 4 in this video series of 7.5 days in a road train sees me leave, leaving Darwin in the Northern Territory and going down to Alice Springs for a 24 hour break before crossing the border back into South Australia and then finishing up this uh, video at Cooper Pedy. Once the truck was refuelled it was a matter of waiting for one of the trailers to be finished loading and uh, then it was the way I went to Catherine where I spent that night. And After a quick delivery in Catherine, I was soon in Mataranka as I pushed my way south towards Alice Springs. been too early in Mataranka for any foot traffic, there wasn't a soul around. Just pulling into Dingo Hill parking bay here, stretch the legs and this parking bay is located between the, the Highway Inn Roadhouse and Dunmara. enough days now that each day was starting to run into the next one and I was losing track of what day it was.
Yeah, good day everyone. It's a Monday afternoon. I'm here at Banker Banker on a break. I didn't do an update yesterday. It was just too dark when I left uh, three ways. So got into Darwin yesterday afternoon and uh, they shuffled the trailers around and moved the freight around for me. Got out of Darwin again last night and got to Catherine um, ready for bed. So did a quick delivery there this morning and down here. And as I say now, I'm here for a break. Go through Tennant Creek, do another quick delivery, and then into Alice Springs tonight, all being well. And uh, I'll have a 24 hour break there tomorrow. Today was almost the perfect day to be on the road. Blue skies and no wind. Very nice. About to do a right hand turn here in Tennant Creek to do one very very quick delivery and then it's uh, back out and on the road to Alice Springs. This was probably the wettest section of road between uh, Darwin and Glendambo in South Australia. Uh, a little bit of water down across the road in front of us in a moment, but it wasn't deep, it wasn't anything to worry about. doing a bit of shoulder work on the shoulders of the road at Wycliffe Well. Cliff Well takes claim to being the UFO capital of Australia. Sun sets in the west just before I reach my destination for the night and that being Alice Springs. Today's uh, Monday, I'm in Alice Springs, I'm on a 24 hour break so tomorrow morning we'll get going and get down into Glendambo and go through this flooded section early afternoon, give myself plenty of time to get down there and then if I get a flat tyre or anything like that all being well, get that changed and get into uh, Glendambo before they close off the road again but only allowing people through during daylight hours which is fair enough I guess so early start in the morning.
another sunset and another day ends. Currently about two hours out of Alice Springs now. I left at five o'clock this morning. I wanted to give myself plenty of time to get down to the flooded road section at Glendambo before they close it uh, later on today. I'm not a worrier by any means, but I always live by the, the feeling and the thought of what if this happens or what if that happens. And when I've got a deadline to make, I make sure I give myself plenty of time to get there, you know. What if I get a couple of flat tyres? Today might be the day where I get more than one in the one day, who knows? But uh, it's always nice to arrive somewhere comfortably and with time up your sleeve rather than race for that last minute or even miss out altogether. Consolation to the early start though, at least you see the beautiful sunrise that we're having this morning. over the border between Northern Territory and South Australia, so back in my home state. me now northbound with a grader and his trailer in tow behind him. I wasn't quick enough to capture the first fella I seen, like the first grader. He had his grader, a trailer behind him and a fuel tanker I think it was, so he was actually a triple. The flood water shown here are on the western side of the road as I'm travelling south and it's only a couple of kilometres south of the township of Marla. The ra uh, railway line runs through the middle of this one so how the railway line fares after being soaked with uh, water like this I'm not quite sure. In the centre of the screen now is the small township of Marla. patches out to the left and right here that doesn't normally grow any uh, grass of any kind but where there is grass growing as it was in Queensland and Northern Territory it continues to be green. As we approach here you'll see a green sign on the left that says Cadney Park and when you go into Cadney Park if you want to call it Cadney Park up around the overhead roof area above the Bowsers. They've got Cadney Homestead, so I've never really known what the official name of this one is, but either way, pulling in for a quick break and uh, 
then it's on we go. As the drone flies towards the overhead roof structure above the fuel bowsers there, you'll see uh, Cadney Homestead. in the soil up this part of the country that the water will lay out in these paddocks for weeks and weeks before it dries out. northbound trucks coming towards me at the moment they would have come through the flooded section at Glen Dambo either late yesterday afternoon or first thing this morning Certainly open flat country here at the moment, no hills to contend with at all. cattle grid that we're about to go over, that's the official crossover point for the dog fence or dingo fence, whichever you like to call it. You certainly know that you're coming close to Cooper Beattie when you start to see these opal diggings on the side. concludes part four in this series of videos. Part five which will be the final one 
um, that will show the flooding of Glen Dambo which caused this detour in the first place so be sure to see that one. If you like the video that you just watched give us a thumbs up and if you want to see more of our videos hit the subscribe button and once you've done that tap on the bell and change the notification to all. That way every time we do uploads to our YouTube channel, you'll be notified.